Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Just tell me whenever you're ready and we'll like... It's recording, but we can cut in and oh, out. We're good. Oh, we can cut in and out. Just let it flow. So we can do edits. What do I do? Yeah. Oh, God, God, it's recording. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do, I do? Yeah. So I've been eating sushi since like 1997. And I've walked into plenty of sushi rush. Sushi? Cut. <laughs> Sushi, sushi. I suck at this. Apparently. I shuck at this. That's what I do. So we're here at Happenessa in downtown Seattle, and I uh, thought we'd be uh, able to ask Rico Say uh, on. Is that correct? Yuriko Say. Yes. Wow. That's is that officially Japanese? Uh, the Yuriko, the Yuriko part, yes, is, is officially Japanese. Okay. The, the last name, not quite as much. Not as much. But you generally know kind of what's going on, considering your role here at Happenessa, with sushi etiquette. That's true. As the general manager and as the daughter of a Japanese father, I definitely have, throughout my life, learned some of the proper sushi etiquette tips and what to do, what not to do. Okay, so one of the things that some people are inclined to do when they walk in is ask the chef what's fresh today. Is that a good thing? Not necessarily. Oh. By asking the chef what's fresh today, you're implying that there are things in the sushi case that aren't fresh, which is kind of an insult to a sushi master who fills his case daily with fresh fish. Everything is phenomenal. Everything in the case is going to be at the freshest it can be. So the better thing to ask is for the sushi chef if he can cut from the best parts of the fish for you. That's a more polite way to, to go about asking uh, what the best parts of the fish are. Fair enough. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed, uh, you know, when I first started eating sushi is when people would uh, snap apart their wooden chopsticks, they'd start doing... Yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Isn't that a lot? It's a bad thing. Bad thing? Really? Bad thing. So if you're doing that with your uh, wooden chopsticks, you don't know. It's considered to be rude. So a lot of the things in Japanese culture and the sushi bar etiquette is really being approaching things in a delicate way. So it's not to call attention to yourself. Nothing. You don't want anything to stand out as being grotesque. You know, same thing. Oh, okay. So you shoveling food into your face, everything is kind of a little bit, rendered a little bit more delicate. So if you take apart your wooden chopsticks, say you do happen to find a splinter, and obviously people tend to do that because they think they're going to be splinters in the chopsticks. Quite often there really aren't, so it's just kind of a silly thing to be doing, but if you do happen to see a splinter, just delicately take it off and put it on the side. It's all about approaching things again in a delicate way. Okay. So let's say I happen to be enjoying, uh, let's say, a roll of some kind. Uh, which, can you believe I have the dexterity? Be I'm impressed. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> considering I didn't grow up with any of these uh, instruments, uh, would I then be uh, wise to pass these chopsticks off to you? No, actually, that is another thing that's just a part of. I'm just screwing this up left and right! Oh, three. <laughs> I could not be any more white than I am right now. Okay, so you, you shouldn't pass chopsticks on to somebody else. No. If okay. you're passing something to somebody, you either want to present them the plate to take the chopsticks and put it on their own plate, or I will pass you my plate and you can put that on the plate itself. Uh, Actually, okay. consider rude to pass chopsticks to chopsticks. Okay. And you should never ch touch chopsticks? Right. You don't want to do the chopsticks, chopsticks passing action. Touch chopsticks. Oh. That's, that, again, that, that's a trick to say like <laughs> three times fast. Present, again, it's presented in a more delicate way. It's a little bit awkward to kind of pass chopsticks to chopsticks. It would be the same way of passing something fork to fork. It's just a little awkward. Uh, it would be awkward. Okay, so then when I sit down, like at a bar or at a table, would it be wise to order everything that I'm thinking I want all at once? No. Oh, jeez, I'm just like, I'm striking out here. I, I can't get this any more wrong. How do you guys even let me in the building? Actually, I think maybe we won't. Uh, it's probably a good thing at this point. Pretty much whatever you're thinking, do the opposite. Do the opposite of what you're and thinking. And then you'll be good to go. Okay, no, so you shouldn't order everything all at once. When you sit at the sushi bar, you want the experience of really taking in all the flavors and everything the sushi bar has to offer. So, you know, when you're at a table, you order everything all at once. When you're at the sushi bar, you're really putting yourself in the sushi chef's hands to do an omakase.
sauce if you want to do a chef's tasting menu, where you try piece by piece, you know, small bite, small plate by small plate. So you order, if you're ordering the nigiri, you want to do, ask for one thing at a time. Um, and nigiri it would be? Uh, the, the fish over rice. Sashimi meaning just the fish. Just clarifying, I've had it, you know, not that I'm, I'm obviously not an expert by any stretch. <laughs> but you know, fair, you know a fair amount. Certainly. And you are asking about, to be a little bit more of the obscure things that I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> Well, that's what I'm known. I'm very obscure in that capacity. <laughs> so let's say I'm, I, I, I've i ordered piece by piece. I'm done. Do I just hand the, the empty plate back to the chef? Again, no. What? <laughs> Building. Okay, how <laughs> oh, that went. Okay. No, we you know, the sushi chef is really the master behind the sushi bar. He's, he's not a server, he's not a busser. And when you can enter a sushi bar, you also want to realize that this is the sushi chef's house. You want to be polite. Uh, don't just come in and expect that he's just here to serve you. Um, Obviously covered things that you shouldn't do. Uh, are there things that you should be mindful of when you're going to eat sushi? Mindful. Of? Yes. I think a lot of the, do. I think a lot of the opposite things of what we've just covered. Those are definitely things to do. Again, when you sit down and you approach the sushi bar, be respectful, be polite. If you do that, then the sushi chef will appreciate that and will most likely want to make your experience that much better. Sending out things that maybe you wouldn't know to ask for, but that they want to introduce you to. And, you know, and anybody in this industry, we're here to give people that great experience, and we want people to leave happy. And when people come and sit down and appreciate what we're doing, whether it's the service or the food, then, you know, we go above and beyond to make sure that every aspect of your experience is really going to be that much more fulfilling. And, you know, Billy and Jose, when they're here, and they have people sitting in the sushi bar, and then, again, what they're doing, they're just all the more excited to send, send dishes out. Okay, so here's a big question, right? So right now we have a roll sitting in front of us. I, I passed you one, not having used the chopsticks. You know, I didn't like to see one. Um, in terms of handling what I have in front of me, is it a protocol to use chopsticks with the roll, or could I actually pick it up with my fingers, assuming my hands are clean? Your hands are clean. Yes. Well, from my experience, it seems not necessarily the etiquette, but the protocol is to use chopsticks with rolls. Okay. Um, the same thing with sashimi. However, with the nigiri, again, it's the fish over the rice, it's completely acceptable to use your hands. Um, maybe the you know the exceptions being the nigiri that are messy. For example, we not eat the the, uh, the freshwater eel. That usually comes with a eel or teriyaki sauce on it, which is going to be messy. So you don't really want to pick it up that one with your hands. Again, it's Did you not? 
not. Honestly, the, the roles that I've had here, I'm out of California. That's primo. No, that is primo, dude. Wow. No, no, I'm trying to be polite. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bravo. That, wait, how, how would I say how would I say that appropriately to a sushi chef? Well, if you say you know when you're done to the past tense of saying it's delicious, you can say it was shikata, which means it was delicious. Um, and you can say uh sama de shita, which is a big goodness and a great deal. Can I have that like written on a card that I can like pull up? Like? I think I can I think I can <laughs> <laughs> this is really a whole thing. Oh my god. So if you had anything to say or to suggest for sushi diners or patrons, other than not dropping their iPhone on the floor like I just did, uh, what would it be? Um, for those coming to sit at the sushi bar, again, really, if you're an adventurous eater, feel free to put your hand, put yourself into the hand um, of the sushi chef. And as long as you're providing kind of follow what we've gone over here today, very well taken care of, you might just end up having a meal that you never ever expected. Is that like omakase? Yes. Omakase. You can ask for omakase and again the, the, the tasting menu or if say you want to do a, a small platter of, of different cuts of fish, you can ask for moriyawase, which is or kase chuta with a cut aside. Little cuts of and any one of those, when you put yourself again in the chef's hands to really present you with what the best food would be. I, I have yet to be disappointed here, so. <laughs> I got it. Now, it's, it, it's probably, I know it's rude in American culture, but it's probably also just as rude to eat with your mouth full, right? Eat with your mouth full, right? Talk with your mouth full, you don't want to do that. Not too much. Delicate. Okay, then we have to end this video because this was really, really good.